is another round of gun bans expected before Canada's gun confiscation finally rolls out. Like, haven't they taken enough from us already? Let's have a look. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a quick look at a new development in the ever-evolving buyback saga. Lots of you have probably heard by now, but Canada Post has agreed to help with phase one of the buyback involving businesses. Conveniently enough, and right on cue, Canada Post is also currently on strike, throwing a further wrench into the planned buyback program. Does Public Safety Minister Dominic LeBlanc intend to launch his buyback program on top of a strike backlog, Black Friday, and the approaching holiday season? It would appear so. So I found this story while perusing X about an hour ago. Polly Sesuviet's page of all places. In the last couple of months, Polly's been going rather hard at the gun control game, posting every couple of days with some picture of a black scary rifle, and then calling it an assault weapon and demanding that the government bans it. Now chief among these posts is the unrelenting calls for the Liberal government to complete the ban list. And it sounds like they may have finally caught on. CTV Montreal did a story with Mayor Valerie Plante where both the city of Montreal and gun control activists spilled the usual gun control rhetoric. Valérie Plante sent a strong message to the federal government today, saying the city wants a total ban on all assault weapons before the launch of Canada's firearms buyback program this fall. I just think it makes sense to have a complete list before we move forward and knowing how uh, the, the gun industry adapts. The mayor and advocates say Canada's public safety minister Dominique Leblanc previously promised a wider ban by December 6th of this year. On that day in 1989, Nathalie Provost survived the Polytechnique massacre that killed 14 of her classmates. She says tighter gun laws are long overdue. The sooner, the better. It's really, really, really important. It, there's maybe in, it, in any time an election. The federal government has banned nearly 2,000 assault style firearms and their variants. The goal is to begin recovering them from retailers in the coming weeks. And by spring 2025, owners can either sell their guns to the government or store them, not to be used or transported. But by the end of October 2025, owners can be held criminally liable unless their guns can't be used. And yes, you heard that right. Public Safety Minister Dominic LeBlanc appears to have previously promised a wider ban by December 6th of this year, which is the 35th anniversary of the events at Ecole Polytechnique. And this came as a shocking development to me. Like, I've obviously been following the confiscation program rather closely on this channel, and this is the first that I've heard of anything concrete regarding an expanded list for confiscation. Last I heard, Dominic LeBlanc had a press conference in September, just two short months ago, where he said that the retailer portion of the buyback was only a month or about a month and a half away, so he's already behind the ball on that promise. But the buyback has also only been a couple months away for over four years now. But something else of note was mentioned during that press conference. Quote, We have no intention of modifying the list at this point. Our efforts are focused on successfully launching the program. That is the most concrete way to reinforce public safety in Canada and respect the objectives that we have set. And this came from jean Sebastian Camo, who is a spokesperson for Public Safety Minister Dominic LeBlanc. Not only that, but this is consistent with what LeBlanc said over a year ago in another interview with NTD, which I covered earlier this year on the channel. And this was released December 24th, 2023, so after that previous article. And the first line of this article clearly says, Canada's Public Safety Minister Dominic LeBlanc announced there would be no further gun regulations until after the next election. How does that sound? That makes me pretty happy. Does that make you happy? I'm down for that. Now, I've long been expecting an expanded ban list, and I've said as much many times on the channel before. If anything, I'm kind of even surprised it took this long. But that's not exactly the interesting part here. For a year now, Dominic LeBlanc has been telling all members of the public, beyond any doubt, that he does not plan on expanding the ban list. Now, it's certainly not unusual for a politician to change his or her mind when things get tough, but here's the thing. I don't think he did change his mind. Take a look at this. City News Montreal also did a story covering the press conference yesterday with Montreal Mayor and Polly Sesuvien. They interviewed Polly directly, and Polly admitted something rather interesting. So as the story goes, the group met with Federal Public Safety Minister Dominic LeBlanc one year ago, and he assured them that the list would be completed by this month. So if Polly is to be believed, which is not usually something a guy should be betting any money on, 
It sounds like Dominique LeBlanc has been planning this from the start. LeBlanc has been telling the public for at like a year now that he does not intend to expand the list. However, behind closed doors, it sounds like he has been making secret promises and colluding with Pauli Sousouviet to expand the list after all. Which, this development is rather damning to say the least. But not entirely surprising, I suppose. I mean, <laughs> frankly, it's kind of par for the course with the Liberals at this point. But whatever the origins, it sounds like another round of gun bans are finally on the horizon. And despite Parliament being locked down pending the disclosure of documents regarding the Liberal Green Slush Funds, ordering councils are not parliamentary business, so it's entirely possible for the Liberals to enact more gun bans through regulation if they choose to do so. So, if you do have any black scary guns, maybe take it out for the weekend. Maybe give her one last spin before she gets sent to purgatory until the next election. Treat her right, get a few mag dumps in, and above all, make sure you have some fun. Promises have been made by Dominic LeBlanc to start phase two of the buyback as early as next spring. But Canada Post has outright said they will not be participating in phase two, so the Liberal government will need a different way of collecting firearms before that process can even start. And of course, it's entirely possible that they just may not be in power long enough to do it at all. But either way, the amnesty still extends until October 30th, 2025. So until that date, the buyback program is effectively optional. However, things are actually unlikely to even get that far. Something else interesting is happening in December here. The CCFR is getting an appeal on their court case and it's headed to the Federal Court of Appeals in Ottawa on December 9th and 10th to prove that these very gun bans, which were done via OIC, are against the law. And they actually have a genuinely strong argument to win the case. I'm currently in the process of editing a series breaking down exactly what and why that is the case, and why I think it's actually possible for us to win at appeal. So I'm keeping this video short in order to get back to doing that. I want to have it uploaded before they return to court, so I've, I've really got to get to it. All that being said, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.